I'm Joe. And I'm Ben. And we're the, the Bourbon, Bourbon Boys. Boys. Let's pour a glass. We're back again. Thanks for tuning in. We got a, uh, this time, Old Soul. This is a single barrel cast strength uh, store pick from the Liquor Barn, which was Depths in really Kentucky, but I guess it's been bought out. This Times morning, have right? changed. Right? I wish I would. I bought it. It was Depths, but I think I just heard on the radio, and this says a Liquor Barn that, is, that, that it's been bought out by that. So um, this was, uh, I've never had any of the Old Soul products. I've heard good things about them. I saw this one, and honestly, I was looking at another bottle mm. in the same price range, and they were about, this one was a dollar or two cheaper, and I want to say it was in the upper 70s. Okay. So not, not a cheap not, bottle. Not but Not crazy terrible, expensive. But, but yeah, yeah, not cheap. I would say a higher-end a higher end bottle, but yeah, not crazy expensive. And i got to tell you, I don't know if you can see it on there, it but what, what, drew, what drew me to this one here? How dark how it is. How dark <laughs> it is. I'm like, Look at that. And I don't know, that doesn't necessarily yeah, mean we'll, anything, we'll but We've been I was intrigued. Yes. I was intrigued by the by the by the dark dark uh, deep rich color. I get it. And it made my mouth water a little bit. <laughs> so I went ahead and plopped down the just like eighty bucks with tax um, for it. But this is made in at Cathead Distillery in Jackson, Mississippi, which it says right there on the label. Look Jackson, Mississippi. Mississippi. So Cathead Distillery, apparently, I didn't know this, I'm learning things about this, okay. was the, Mississippi was the last state to yes. repeal Prohibition in 1966. So the rest of the country did it in like, what year? 30-something? I don't I'm know. Not a history buff. But anyway, that, it was like 30 years later or something. Right? But 1966, they repealed Prohibition, wow. is... and apparently Cathead Distillery was the first, first one. One of the, well, one I don't know if it said they say the first one, but that might be under debate. But yeah. they were one of the first. They were the initial wave of distilleries that opened up after Prohibition in 1966. So Cathay cool. Distillery. So I'm going to crack this open here. I hope I don't. Uh, oh, there we go. We're oh, good. it's super easy. Look Every that. once in a while, I know. It gets uh, sometime there. Get stuck in garbage hard. cans going back here. Oh, there it is. Just got pushed back. Let's push see. Back. Let's see a good one. Okay, ready? Oh, baby! Should have held the microphone. I know. <laughs> Pop, that was pop a good one, then. lock. But this one is coming in hot. Well, I pour quite a bit. Of it. <laughs> no, not really that much. It just looked like more. Oh, look how dark and oh, it's I was afraid maybe it was just the dark. bottle because it has like a black. The label's dark on the backside also. Yeah, I but feel like this is a thick bottle too. Which this is coming out of my glasses. Let me see if I can read. A hundred and twenty-three point. Six eight. Six eight. Yeah. Jeez. Point six. Very eight. accurate. <laughs> <laughs> Proof. Wow. That means it's all the way down to the hundredth a, of a percent. Yeah. Hundredth of a percent. <laughs> all right. It's not a whole wood and lot. caramel. I'm just getting. I'm getting the char. I'm getting the, I say I'm wood, getting the, but wood. the char. And the wood. Yeah. Gosh. And, car and and like uh, brown for caramel caramel that higher proof I'm not getting I'm, it. yeah I, I, and I'm digging for that right yeah that's sort of a good sign yeah because normally we'd be smelling the ethanol on it yeah sometimes but yeah it's, uh, yeah I'm, just, I'm breathing in deep and I'm just not yeah, singing or anything that's interesting I would expect it to have more Something. more of a nose yeah hmm. let's go in let's do it. Okay. I can't tell that's 120 some proof. No, you know what? <laughs> My first thing when it when is the it's thick. It's yeah, uh, yeah. very bis viscous. Yeah, viscous. I'm using okay. I'm using good scientific <laughs> terms there. It has it's a high viscosity. It's creamy. It wow, is, it just yeah, really it's very coats thick. The whole coats mouth. The mouth. Mm. Hmm. And this is. It, it's just like the nose. the The flavors are more subtle. I mean, for 123 yeah. proof, they're kind of subtle. How... But it's all it's all the 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 char and the wood and the... and the brown sugary yeah, caramel. caramel. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. that's what you're getting out of this. Hmm. That's cr that's 
so crazy. I mean, I'm just trying to see how long that's going to linger. I mean, the finish is, I'm still getting that. It's starting to fade now, but mm -hmm. uh, it's not there. Okay, sometimes the nose comes in better after a sip or two, but it's not. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. It's good. There's no good. way if I was sipping this. Yeah. Never. Yeah, you told me it's 120 oh, proof. Oh, no. I'd be like, you're lying. I mean, you can taste it's got some proof on it, right. but... I would put this like in the 110, 115 range, maybe. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, 110. Wow. But uh, I was expect. I tell you what, it looks dark mm -hmm. and it tastes dark. Dark, yes. rich, okay. yeah, rich, creamy. Mm -hmm. Not like a flavor bomb, but like a, you know, like a caramel. Like you're eating. It's not yeah. the sweet. It's not super sweet, but like a bittersweet. Maybe a little chocolate notes in there. Right? Like right. a bittersweet yeah. kind of candy that melts. Dark chocolate? Yeah, that melts in your mouth and mm. runs down. Mm -hmm. okay. Just warm. I like, yeah, warm. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, I'm digging this. We're going we're gonna to finish these glasses. Yeah. might dip in again. This might need more sampling. Oh, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> we are back. And I know for you it's been like nothing, but for us, it took a been, little, it little, took a little while because fin I still getting it. I, uh, I just took my last sip uh, like a, literally like a minute ago. And uh, I'm still, it's still there. Oh my goodness! <laughs> uh, in case you can't tell, I'm kind of digging on this it's, one. I think I'm digging on it more good. than Dennis. A, a little. I think you are a little bit, but um, it is still good. So this one here, oh, uh, this caught me off guard. It is, and the more I'm drinking it, it's it's dark chocolate. It's dark, unsweetened chocolate. It's got mm -hmm. a little sweet, maybe semi-sweet, but mostly it's dark, really dark chocolate. Mm -hmm with a little touch of like a caramel and, a, and then you get the oak and the char yeah. in it. And it is so thick and viscous, it coats your whole mouth. It coats the top of your mouth, the sides, under your tongue, over your tongue, everywhere. I mean, yeah, it feels like if you dropped it, it wouldn't splash. It would just kind of <laughs> like oil, oily, yeah. creamy. I don't know, creamy. whatever phrase you whatever want to use for use, it. But it's... This is one of it's thick. One of the thickest <laughs> ones. Yeah, like most viscous yes. uh, whiskeys I've ever had. Um, it We were describing as the flavor. It, it feels like, for me, a lot of times I like to think about sitting around a campfire. That's my mm -hmm. favorite place to, to drink bourbon. But this one feels like you should be maybe like in the Smoky Mountains, in a, um, cabin. In a cabin, in front of a fireplace. roaring fireplace, oh. and it's snowing outside, and the big pines, and the out there and it just feels like winter christmas warm yeah. a nice maybe have a nice christmas cookie would you say cinnamon roll yeah oh, a nice yeah. cinnamon roll <laughs> but it it's like i said that semi sweet dark it just like it, it literally feels like something melting in your mouth how thick it is i, I i'm digging on this one yeah um I mean, so different yeah so different yeah it is very different um this is may this may be the longest tightest kentucky hug Yes. I've ever had. So, and the proof on it, 123 proof, you would never get that from this. Mm -mm. Uh, there's no bite. There's no sting. Except when you first drink it, it, it's all you're getting is that flavor. And then after you swallow it, it's like from the just, back, just the warm. heat, like a little warm, yeah, not heat, but yeah. like a warm wave comes up yeah. uh, through your mouth. And it, then it just holds on and mm -hmm. just hugs you mm -hmm. a little tingly. And you can, it's so thick. Like, so, so when you lick your lips, you can still there. taste it again. <laughs> Just hangs on. It's super nice. So I would, and the flavor, we would describe a lot of them as being like, oh, it's a flavor bomb. This is not a flavor bomb. Yeah. These are soft flavors that just like flow. Mm -hmm. It's very mm -hmm. pleasant. It's very nice. Mellow, chill. Very good. Yeah, it's just a chill, chill out. It's a, it's a 123 proof chill. Chill. <laughs> Which could come around and bite yes, you right this could, <laughs> this could easily bite you. Um, all that being said, I really am enjoying this. I would give it a four on the flavor. And 80 is not cheap, but this one, I, I, if you told me this was more or over 100 bucks, I wouldn't doubt it. So okay. for value, I'm going to give this three probably. I mean, it's hard to give three, maybe three and a half on an, you know, almost an $80 mm -hmm. bottle. But I, 
I, you know, I'd go three and a half because it's so unique, and and I'm I really enjoy it. Yeah, very very unique experience. Um, yeah. So with the the flavor, um, I, like you said, you're digging on it a little more than I am, but it is still good. It's super unique, I think. Um, and the flavor, I'm gonna go with a three and a half. So it is still really good, very interesting. Um, and with the value, I think I'll go probably a three and a half as well. Um, I mean, just that proof alone, I think you're getting a lot for 80 bucks, And just a very in interesting experience. Yeah. I think it's good. I feel like you're getting more than your money's worth. Yeah. I, I yeah. mean, this is, we've had bourbon, like, like we've said before, that are considerably more expensive that don't yes. deliver anywhere near this much. So yes. I have to give it above average right. on the value. Yeah. Um, if you see a bottle, honestly, I would buy another bottle of this if I, if I came across another bottle. I might pick one up if I ever see it. <laughs> But we'll be right back down there again. Um, if they still have any left, which they probably they won't. They probably but. won't. Once the word gets out <laughs> from our review. <laughs> the literally tw tens and tens of people <laughs> that are watching yeah. this. Lots so. of views. Lots of eyeballs. But we love you guys. Absolutely. Right? We love you guys. Of course so we do. Thank you for watching. And if you got any opinions on this or uh, if you had this, please let us know. Yeah. I'm digging on this one. It's good. Until next time, guys. See ya.